What is up guys, DJ Rick Webb here, and by request, this is going to be the first episode in our audio learning tutorial slash me telling you what I know. Um, we're going to talk about how to properly set up powered speakers with your mixers, all different types of mixers. So to start this video off, let's talk about mixers because mixers have a lot to do with the power speakers you own. Now you could use a very basic Yamaha mixer like this. It's a six channel mixer, uh, quarter inch inputs, uh, XLR outs, great little mixer and it has this nice little digital readout that will go up to 0 dB or plus 6 dB. Or you could use this Hercules DJ controller with RCA outs and you can hook up the virtual DJ. Or you can do something like uh, the American Audio VMS 4.1, which has XLR ins, outs, and it's a full mixer. So this is a, basically this and this together in this. Or you could do so, uh, a rain mixer with, with CDJs on either side, and you could go with that. The key here is we need to worry about our output on our mixer. So start off when you set up your powered speakers turn them off now that they're turned off we need to figure out where 0 db is and the key for hitting 0 db is you can go below 0 db when you're playing on your mixer but when you go above 0 db on your mixer plus 3 db is not bad but when you get above it you start to distort the sound and that's very crucial so on the on uh, your mixer, you need to find out where zero dB is. So what you want to do is you want to find a song with a decent amount of bass, and the one I like to use is Cupid Shuffle, just because it has really big bass hits. And normally I want to start it off right about in here, right when these big bass hits are hitting. So I'm going to press play on here. I'm going to turn my master fader all the way down. I'm going to turn my channel fader all the way up. Make sure my corners is over here. And we're going to press play. And we're going to slowly raise the master fader and you'll see the lights will start to blink. We got to get into that yellow range there. And right about there. See, it just barely is tapping into the red now. So just occasionally it'll tap into the red. You want it to just barely tap into the red. So right about there is good on mine. That's normally where I run my normal mixer at. And if you do have just one set of speakers, I have different ones. This is PRX and those are Eons and I have other speakers that hook up to this. You could just take a little um, sticker or white out and put a little mark there. That way you always know where to put it. But Ricky, I have this Hercules DJ4 set and it doesn't have digital readouts on what 0dB is. So, a good rule of thumb here is try half volume. Normally, normally on the mixers they have a bigger marking where 0 dB is and you can normally you can look it up in the manual what 0 dB is on your mixers that don't have that. But a good rule of thumb is just never go past 75% uh, on your main output on your mixer if they don't have digital readouts for dB. Now, turn on your speakers. Okay, so with your speakers on, you want your faders turned all the way off if this is your first time doing this whole setup like this. So make sure your volume faders, your signal faders are all the way down. Now, if you're out at a venue, I don't recommend doing this out at a venue unless you warn everyone you're about to do a sound check because it's going to get really loud, especially if you have PRX series speakers. So what you're going to do is, on your mixer, you're going to play the song back at zero pushing 0 dB and you're going to turn your speakers up until one of two things happens. One, your limit starts blinking or two, the volume is plenty loud for the room. And the re whole reason why I'm using the PRX series and the Eons is to show that. When I set up these speakers right here, the PRXs, I typically, I haven't even came close to making the limit light blink at a venue. My Eons Every time I used them, I, when I set them up, I put them to the blinking light. And once you do this once, you know where to set it normally for the next time so your sound check goes a lot quicker. Now you want to play that same song, but for copyright reasons, I'm going to use 
a song that I know is not copyright. Okay, so we'll start off on the back of the Eon. We're going to turn it up. We're going to turn our signal up to about a quarter, turn our limit up to about a quarter, and we got volume. Now, this is going to get really loud because I'm in a basement, but typically you're going to turn, I go signal half volume, and I go limit at three quarters. And that's about where you want it. As you saw, the limit was blinking a little bit too much, so I turned it down just a little bit. Um, the limit light on the Eon is kind of weird too, because it kind of just like gets a little bit brighter and then brighter. You just want to notice when it is full brightness, you would want that to just blink every so once in a while, maybe on the bass hit. And that is a good rule of thumb for keeping your speakers safe and not blowing them. So now let's go over to the PRX. So I just restarted the song. And we're going to start turning the signal gain up on the PRX. Guys, uh, you guys probably can't tell by the video, but that is just absurdly loud when it's at peak on these PRXs. It's easily twice as loud as that Eon. And likewise, if you have subs, you also want to turn your subs up until you hit limit, or overall it sounds good. Now, typically what I do is I turn my subs, or I turn the tops on just so I can hear the audio, but I'll turn the subs up until they hit limit, and then I'll have my PRX 712s, I'll turn them up until it sounds equal based to highs and mids, just because the PRX 712s are way louder than the PRX 715XLFs. Or you can reverse the process and do what I did with my Eons, which is I would turn my Eons on, turn them up the limit, and then I would turn the subs up until it sounded um, until it sounded like we had enough bass because the 715 XLFs could drown out the 7 or the 615 Eons. So let's say you got your two speakers, you have the two Eons or something like that, and you have the volume cell in the back to where it hits the limit. You have your um, your controller or your mixer, mixer and controller here set to where it hits 0 dB and that means matches the limit on your powered speakers. You you are you are all set to go. Now one thing I would advise you is if you just did this like you just set up your speakers and that or you're doing it in a cold basement like I am now the speakers will heat up a little bit and that limit will hit a little bit sooner when the speakers are all warmed up and ready to go. So just check on it if you're running at full volume some point in the night. That's how I set up mine is with the master at where it hits zero and then I just keep my faders at whatever volume when I'm mixing. So like dinner music, I'm down here at like negative 30, negative 20 dB for dinner music and then more like cake time we're up around 7 and 4 and then throughout the main dancing night we eventually get to zero dB sometimes. So you could also reverse this as well. So now that you know that at 0 dB your speakers are at their limit, you can turn your master down if you want to go full faders and you can mix that way. Just make sure that when you're turning the master up throughout the night you don't go above 0 dB or you leave it at whatever if you left the mark up here. Okay, that's how you set up your powered speakers. Now let's talk about how you make them sound better. So most of the time you have low, mid, and high control. This mixer, the Yamaha, does not have low, mid, and high control, but the controller does, and so does this. So on the PRX712 there is no built-in EQ ability to tune them at all. Now on the Eon it has its own little EQ app and you can EQ it properly and if you haven't seen that yet you can check out my review video on the Eon and also you can check out my favorite tune to use on the Eon. Review of this bad boy coming soon. So just a recap here on how to set up powered speakers. On your mixers and on your controllers you don't want to go past 75% volume output on your controller normally 
and you also don't want to go past 0 dB plus 3 dB is okay. And then on your speakers, you don't want to go past the limit light. And also on some speakers, it's called the clip light. So it just varies on the speaker manufacturer. The max you want to go for the limit or clip light and be safe, and I have verified this with a lot of professionals out there, is to just see it blinking. So you got a song that's hidden on the bass. You, so this is the bass right here. It's blinking every time that bass hits. Just blink, blink, blink. Once it starts getting more than that, you want to turn it down. You want to either turn your mixer down or turn your speakers down. You're in jeopardy of damaging your speakers. And that's pretty much all, guys, for episode one here of Audio Tips. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see for episode two. Do you guys want to see speaker placement? Do you want me to dive more into subwoofer tips? Uh, let me know. So yeah guys, let me know what you want to see for episode 2 in our audio tips and tricks series that we're starting here on YouTube. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this was helpful to you, share it to other DJs that you know have power speakers and need to know this information. Uh, remember to subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and pretty much every Friday. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned to the end. First off guys, thank you all for staying to the end of the video now. This thing right here, if you guys didn't see it on Monday, there was no video to announce who won. That's because they did not reply in time. And I'm fed up and don't want to pick another person to win. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick quiz right here on this video. Now, part of this quiz before you answer in the comments below to my question uh, you had to have already entered the contest prior to the end date, which was July 29th, I believe, which I will be checking. So, here's the question. All you have to do is answer the question, be the first person to answer the question in the comments below. You ready? First person to answer wins this if they enter the contest already. My first ever gig log video. What date was the gig log? and what high school did I go to for their winter formal? Answer in the comments below. First person that answers it, I will reply to your comment and you are the winner of the Hercules DJ4 set mixer. You had to have already entered the contest before, which means you had to be subscribed to me, uh, entered, entered a con uh, comment on that video, and liked that video as well. All right, go for it.